Good morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are seeing this. This is going to be daily guidance for Wednesday, June 12th. So tonight in my monthly membership, we will be having the coaching call. If you are part of my membership, please put that in your phone as an alert, 7 p.m., Zoom meeting link will be in the uh, group. Uh, I will post that. So yes, let's get um, some overarching energies for today. And got this golden future oracle by Diana Cooper. And um, it was calling to me actually, as I was looking for a different deck. So I think we're going to pull one of these to get us started. There's a lot of heavy energy out there this week. Um, and if you watch the weekly video, um, Quan Yin came through, which is right here, talking about enlightened action. So this is not a week to force anything, but to come at everything with love, grace, humility, mercy. Yeah, manifestation and mind control. Focus your thoughts. Yeah, this is not a week to or day to let your thoughts like take off in a direction where you feel like you've got to really say something, do something, be something, <clears throat> defend yourself. Um, to manifest this uh, today, you need to allow. So this is not about forcing anything today. This is not about controlling anything today. This is about focusing your thoughts uh, through higher frequencies. So staying in gratitude, staying in forgiveness, staying in grace with your thoughts, which create our emotions, right? So that's what I'm feeling for today, that um, this is not a day um, to force anything because you want to manifest from that place of love, right? Manifestation is the energy we put out is the energy we get back, right? We, we live in a vibrational frequency driven universe. And so the energy we're putting out is the energy we're getting back. So if you're trying to control or force, it's not going to work. You're going to get that back someone trying to can force you control you or force you into something right so this is a day that we are going to manifest something but what we manifest is going to be totally dependent on where are we in our vibration in our frequency are we operating out of compassion enlightened action or are we trying to force something right oh oh yeah <laughs> yeah today transformation is coming in angel of transformation. Yeah, something is going to transform today. And it's going to transform in the way that you are bringing the energy to the table. So uh, something's changing today. Something's changing. Is it changing positively? Or is it changing negatively? Or is it changing neutrally? Right? Are you being neutral? Um, do you keep kind of doing that thing where you're like, I'm not going to make a decision and not making a decision is making a decision. And that's what I feel like today. You've got it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh my God, I was feeling it. So the angel of transformation and the angel of freedom. Yeah, you're breaking free today. You're breaking the chains um, in some way today, whether it's that um, you're, you're, you're breaking the chains of control. You're learning how to surrender. You're sitting down and you're allowing things. But this is a day of, of huge transformation and endings. Maybe you're you're getting real about your addiction. Maybe you're getting real about your eating. Maybe you're getting real about your social media content or 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 how much time you spend on social media. Maybe you're starting to really get real today with what it is that you've been doing that's been getting in your own way. And you're breaking free of that. That is being brought to your attention today because you've got to transform it. You've got to break free. So maybe this is the day you start the detox. Maybe this is the day that you sign the divorce papers, right? This is the day that you <sighs> something about a new home. Maybe you finally take the leap of faith. You break free of the fear, right? Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, because something is going to abruptly come together today. Yeah, action. Yep, today's action. So there's going to be some surprising action that is going to break you free and transform your life. Holy cow. I'm not feeling fear, guys. I'm not feeling fear with all these cards that would normally induce fear, right? No, this just feels like you're ready to take action. You're ready to go in the direction. Um, yeah, you're ready to take the action. So these cards, yeah, I mean, they do look kind of scary. Death, tower, devil, right? Transformation, moving on, letting go, breaking free, abrupt turnaround, right? But this is the day that you start taking the action. This is how you're going to manifest. You're going to take the action towards what you want. You're going to deserve and believe and receive and get into I'm going in this new direction because, okay, so I, maybe I got bounced out of a job. Maybe I got bounced out of a relationship. Um, maybe I got bounced into a realization. I had an aha moment. I had an epiphany today. That person hasn't had my back. That person's been against me subtly manipulating from behind the scenes, whatever it is, however this is resonating for you. But this is the day to take the action towards the new, right? So again, whatever energy you're putting out is the energy you're going to get back. So if, if you're letting today scare you in some way, then you're just going to get more reasons to be fearful bounced back to you, right? How can you stay in compassion and gratitude and mercy for you or the people around you as you start taking actions towards where you're being called to go, right? In the new direction, in the new creative project, in the new nothing that is changing today is going to surprise you. You've either known it was coming, you've been feeling it coming, or you've really been trying to play the game of, I'm just not going to make a decision. And the universe today is saying, okay, not making a decision is making a decision. Things are going to now change in a way that's going to be uncomfortable because you didn't make the uncomfortable decision when it would have been more comfortable to do so. You might have to listen to that a couple times. <clears throat> Got one more card. One more card, Spirit. One more card. Okay. Nope. Not a whole pack. Not a whole pack. So let's see what we can get. We want one more card. There it is. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. You're coming into stability. You're coming into comfort. You're coming into blessings and abundance. You're coming into things taking off, but they can't take off in the direction that is right for you until you take the action to move away the things that aren't working for you. Look at that. The devil, the tower, and death. Three of pentacles. Action. Working hard. Is bringing you into comfort. So even though something's changing today in some way, whether it's internal or external, but it is bringing you into comfort, that is where spirit is taking you. So whether you're going willingly or you're kind of uh, dragging your feet, right? Spears like, that's okay, we got you. We're going to take you where you are going to be safe and stable, where you are going to be able to be comfortable, where you are going to be supported, where you are going to have the resources that you need. This is not forsaking you. This is not us forsaking you at all. This is us saying, it's time to go. It's time to go. 
because you have been wanting this for a long time, but you have not been taking the action that is needed to get you there. So today, something is going to change that is going to prompt you to now to have to take action, internally or externally. So today is not a day to fear, but today is a day to understand that what the status quo has been in your life, that is changing. That is changing because you are. manifesting and I did it again I do it all the time I put the cards back and I show oh, there it is yeah you are manifesting today you are manifesting something today but are you manifesting positive or are you manifesting negative are you getting into gratitude or are you letting the fear sink you This is a card of power. Receiving it is a reminder that you have untapped gifts you can develop. It is time to bring forward the latest possibilities within you. Your guidance is to practice deep relaxation, spend time in quiet contemplation, and do visualizations. Mind control confers enormous influence. It must be used with wisdom and only for the very highest good of all. Before you apply this gift, ensure you are living the fifth dimensional way in cooperation and oneness with others. Then bring in your twelfth fifth dimensional chakras. Picture them getting bigger and brighter each day until you feel you, your navel chakra has become bright orange. Then ask Mother Master Merlin, the great alchemist and magician, to oversee you for the highest good when you practice manifestation. Utilize it to help the world. So this is your, this is your let's go. This is your let's go. So something today is going to change. Something today is going to change. I'm going to pull another Divine Masters by Kyle Gray to see who else wants to come in and support you as you're going through this big shift. Again, for some of you, this is very internal. And for some of you, this is going to be very external, right? So remember, your thoughts create your emotions, which create your manifestations. So control your thoughts today. When you find yourself being negative Nelly, flip that switch. Get that glass half empty to glass half full, right? Ask your angels, guides, ascended masters to come in and help you do that if you're really struggling, right? Archangel Michael to give you strength. Archangel Raphael to help you with healing in whatever way that looks or is needed. And who else wants to come through? Oh, I love it. Speaking of Archangel Raphael, Green Tara healing light, wellness unfolding, know that healing is a journey. Yeah. So there's something today um, that is crumbling, shifting, um, unexpectedly happening in your world, but know that you are not alone, that uh, you can call in Green Tara, which will bring in healing and wellness. Green Tara and Archangel Raphael both uh, work through the healing energy of the green ray. So whoever you're comfortable with, but I've worked with Green Tara and it is a beautiful, beautiful light energy and she is very, very, very beneficial. Um, <clears throat> so I do want to... Introdu introduce those of you who are unfamiliar with Green Tara with Green Tara. The story goes that Tara, whose name means star, is an aspect of... I'm going to butcher this, and I'm so sorry. Avel Okitashavara, the deity of compassion, who, looking at the earth, cried tears over all those experiencing challenges and pain. His tears of compassion became a great river from which rose a lotus, and from that lotus, Tara was born. She has many forms in different colors, and green Tara br brings a light of protection and safety with her. Green Tara is one of the most beloved and respected female deities in many Buddhist traditions and is well regarded by many spiritual practitioners across the world. Born of pure compassion, she is there to assist all those loving, moving from suffering to wholeness. 
So the message with green Tara for you is the blessings of Tara are surrounding you now and are being guided to know that healing isn't linear, but more like a spiral. When you set the intention to heal, the intention itself initiates a pathway that is similar to a spiral. At times you will feel like you are overflowing with vitality and at others you will feel drained. There may even be moments when you feel you are revisiting something you thought you had overcome, but this is revisit this revisiting is actually an opportunity to see how far you have come on the road to recovery and wholeness. Right now, the spiritual energies that surround you are creating space, pathways, and doorways for you to move closer to the truth that you are whole, healed, and complete. Don't let fears or limitations get between you and the miracles that you have experienced and the miracles that are yet to happen. This is a journey to fearlessness and liberation, and you are closer to freedom than ever. Take the next step. So I love that she came through because I feel like um, she really is corresponding or um, they're working in connection with each other this week. Kuan Yin came through the weekly reading. If you didn't get a chance to look at that, I would invite you to do that. Um, but yeah, Kuan Yin and Green Tara coming through. Compassion, 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 compassion this week, today. So wherever things are coming, crashing down around you or things are really taking a turn, you're really having to break free from something, whether it's a mental pattern, a thought pattern, a relationship pattern, or um, something in your, your physical reality, a new job, a new career, a new creative endeavor, whatever it is, um, just know that you're being supported. And give yourself the grace and the compassion that you would give someone else as you're going through these very difficult energies and know that you are loved. You are supported and you are loved. And um, yes, you are being grown. You are being grown. And what you're feeling and experiencing are growing pains. And um, that is how we are moving forward. That is how we are moving forward. So For many of you, you've been on a healing journey for a very long time. And when you're on a healing journey and you get to a point where you feel like you don't have the support of the people from your past because you now realize and recognize how they were detrimental to you or neglectful or traumatizing or manipulative or whatever it is, right? And it can be hard to have those realizations about people in situations around you that have been your whole world. And for many of us coming out of survival mode, which is what a lot of the healing that I do is about, um, you then have to learn how to parent yourself, that um, your parent of origin or um, the people in parental roles very early in your life didn't do you justice. They, they weren't there for you. They didn't love you unconditionally the way that you deserved. And so for many of you, you are now learning that you have to parent yourself, your inner child. As the adult version of yourself, you have to parent your inner child and love yourself unconditionally. Be there for yourself unconditionally. Support yourself unconditionally. Have compassion for yourself. Give yourself grace. Allow yourself to be childlike in some ways. Taking time to, to, to play taking time to uh, put your time in, 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 in things you're passionate about, whether it's um, something people on the outside will look at and say, well, that's juvenile, right? No, that's what your inner child needs. You need to play. You need to love yourself. You need to rest. You need to recover, right? A lot of you have been in fight or flight for years and decades. And so when you are healing, you need to rest, a lot of rest. And so it is about isolating. It is about stepping back. It is about saying no. It is about putting up boundaries because you were not allowed to do that as a child. You didn't get a choice as a child. And now your adult version of yourself needs to parent that inner child. So yes, step back today. And where you're getting the epiphany, where you're getting the aha moment, allow yourself to love yourself. Give yourself the grace, the space, and the rest, the rejuvenation. Fill up your own cup, not by buying yourself something, 
but giving your body, your mind, your emotions, your energetic body, giving to them good food, good sleep, good rest, good play, in whatever forms those look like for you. Allow it as much as you need to. And you will get to a point where that will taper off. But for those of you just coming into this, it may feel like all you're doing is sleeping. It's what you need. I'm not a medical provider. I'm not giving medical advice. So if you feel like, you know, you've got other things going on, absolutely check with your medical and health providers. But for many of you, it's simply your body is coming out of fight and flight and it just needs to rest. So with that, I'm sending you so much love, so many blessings. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And thank you so much for being here.